How to invest in Switzerland as a foreigner, a beginner's guide 2022. Since the Covid crisis, incredible record amounts of new money are coming to Switzerland. Since the Ukraine war, even more. Investors from Hong Kong, Latvia, Lithuania, Estonia and Poland call me every day. Since the Ukraine war, some fear an invasion from Russia or China, others fear unpredictable inflation and rapacious tax authorities. They all, are, they all ask for a Swiss bank account, a second passport or a golden visa. The world has become more insecure. If you are investing your money in Switzerland as a foreigner, you are not alone. 30% of all offshore money in the world is invested with Swiss banks. All these offshore investors owning so much money can't be wrong. Switzerland is the safe haven country number one. You can choose among 286 Swiss banks and 2,500 independent asset managers. Which Swiss banks are safe? What is the best Swiss private bank for me? It's simply too much to handle for a non-resident investor. Making the right choice is difficult if not impossible. Here I come into play. In this video I will show you how to invest in Switzerland as a foreigner but successfully and super safe. I will show you a tested and proven way to do it. I already have hundreds of happy clients who became successful investors in Switzerland with me. Bring your money out of your country before your country will take it out of you. Stay with me. Caputo and Partners SwissBankingLawyers.com We fight for your money. My name is Enzo Caputo. I'm a Swiss banking lawyer advising private clients from all over the world about asset protection with Swiss banks. I am the owner of the boutique law firm Caputo Partners and the founder of the blog SwissBankingLawyers.com, the place where successful international business people find tips and solutions to better protect their assets with Swiss banks and pay less tax. Remember, time, not timing, is what matters. Is now a good time to start investing or should you wait until the Ukraine crisis has ended? The truth is that nobody knows the right time. Experts are making forecasts that you can consider, but even their timing can be wrong. For example, 20 years ago, experts judged Google and Amazon as risky, high-risk investments. Anyone who invested in Google and Amazon stocks in the early days became a millionaire. Picking the next winning stock can be like finding a needle in the haystack. Therefore, my successful Swiss asset managers always recommend the buy and hold strategy with well diversified high quality investments. Do not invest in one shot. Invest step by step with partial investments distributed over time, over a certain period. My asset managers are doing so called value investments, exactly like Warren Buffett. High quality investments and liquidity are crucial elements. Remember, diversification helps against volatility uncertainty and ambiguity. What is the difference between timing the market versus buy and hold? Your own personal circumstances are much more important than the market. It is important to understand that your money may be invested and blocked for a long period of time. You only should invest money, you don't need to pay your bills. If you invest in the stock markets, you need a substantial amount of money for at least five years. You must be sure that you won't need that money for at least five years. If you don't feel comfortable with the long-term investment, it is not the right time for you to invest. It's important to know that you are never too young to start investing. You start, if you start early, this will have a positive impact on your personal wealth. Based on the historical performance of investment accounts, you can expect to make an average return of 6.5 to 7% per year. Leaving your money in your bank account means that your savings lose value over time. The prices increase faster than the return you will get from the money in your savings account. Leaving your money in a savings account means reducing the purchasing power of your money over time. A good example is Turkey with 48.7% inflation the last year. 
During the last 13 years, my best-in-class asset managers made between 8 to 12% a year on average. I will explain more on how to find the best Swiss private bank and asset manager who gets results for you later in this video. However, a Swiss bank account is imperative if you want to protect the purchasing power of your money. Protect your asset with the best Swiss private banks. Here is my promise, you will sleep much better. You will be relaxed. There are a lot of investment opportunities in Switzerland. Before making investments, you need to know the most common investment opportunities in Switzerland, like real estate, gold, silver, cryptocurrency, stocks, bonds, ETFs. I will explain these very common asset classes in this video. More alternative investment opportunities such as commodities, art, fine wines, rare stamps, NFTs, or non-fungible tokens, luxury watches, classic cars, historical documents, Roman gold coins and diamonds are excluded or explained in my other videos. I will show you the pros and cons of the most common asset classes. What's the best way to invest in Switzerland 2022? Watch this video until the end to find out how my non-resident clients are successfully investing in Switzerland. With me, you will find the safest Swiss private bank and an asset manager that delivers results. And all that based on fair pricing. Do not undertake experiments alone. It will cost you money. You can burn your fingers. Here is the thing. The banker is not your friend. Do not walk alone in a Swiss bank. If you want to protect your assets with a Swiss bank account, with the safest Swiss bank, call me now. Grab your mobile phone and dial 0041442144404 or send me an email to the following email contact at swissbankinglawyers.com Your account will be operative in one week. How to buy gold and silver for investment purposes? People have been investing in gold and silver for 5,000 years. Gold and silver are widely known as safe investments in uncertain times. It's one of the few investments where you can't lose everything. It's impossible to end with a total loss. Gold is a safe haven currency like the Swiss francs. Here are the advantages. Gold and silver have a long-term track record. Gold and silver have maintained their value since ancient times. You should invest at least 20% of your wealth in physical gold out of the banking system. Physical gold bars and gold coins are safer than gold and silver on paper. Switzerland is the best place for physical gold storage and pri in a private vault out of the banking system. These advantages are the storage costs, no real income and negative impact of gold mining in third world countries. Precious metals are not generating income. You can use gold as collateral for a cheap loan. Gold mining in third world countries can harm the planet. Soon the provenience, the provenance of gold will be tracked based on blockchain technology combined with physical gold bars. How to invest your money in investment funds? What is an investment fund? A fund is a collective investment company where your money and the money of other investors are pooled together. The fund manager is managing the fund. He makes the buy and sells for you. Let's assume that you have a UBS non-resident bank account. It's a tremendous mistake to not outsource the asset management service to an external asset manager. You can be pretty sure that your portfolio will be overloaded with indirect investments, expresses verbis with the funds issued by UBS. Conflict of interest situation will destroy the performance of your portfolio. Your UBS private banker will look after his bonus and less after you. He is not your friend. He will sell exclusively UBS financial products. According to my case studies, based on 150 real existing portfolios, direct investments in the best Swiss stocks are outperforming indirect investments in funds by far, by far. Indirect investments are super expensive. They make money for the bank, but not for you. The bank will collect the fees and destroy your returns. Read what I discovered after having analyzed 115 real existing portfolios. The advantages are diversification and liquidity. You will have low investment risk because of well-diversified investments. The risk of losing money is minimized, but the returns are low. You may not lose your investment, but the returns will be modest, very modest. Passively managed funds outperform actively managed funds because of hidden fees. Here is the truth. 
Due to their complex and untransparent structures, funds are notoriously known for hidden fees. My case studies revealed that those funds destroy the returns because of astronomic costs. When investing in funds, be very careful with hedge funds. They can be very illiquid and risky. Avoid them, believe me. How to buy Swiss stocks? Buying Swiss stocks means participating in a company's success by being a co-owner of a company in Switzerland. Thanks to digitalization, the Swiss stock market has become more easier and more cost-effective. Stock investments in Switzerland with the best Swiss stocks are low-risk investments compared to other stocks. Companies like Nestle, Roche, Novartis, Swiss 3 are dividend-generating Swiss blue-chip stocks for the long run. Please watch my video on how to invest in Swiss stock market. The advantages are attractive returns, high liquidity, simplicity, full transparency and control. Americans with Swiss bank accounts can buy US stocks in Switzerland very easily. Americans with Swiss bank accounts must engage an external asset manager as imposed by US law and the SEC. You will get much better results with an external asset manager, I will suggest you. He will compose your portfolio with direct investment, picking the best Swiss stocks. You can instruct your external asset manager to exclude companies that you do not wish to support. For example, tobacco, mining, defense industries, weapons or climate changing industries. The disadvantages are high volatility and that they are risky short term investments. Stock value moves up and down. Therefore, it is crucial to have different stocks in your portfolio. Diversification is king. Do not speculate with stocks. Listen to me carefully. Time, not timing, is what matters. You should follow a buy and hold strategy holding your stocks for at least five years. Are bonds a good investment in 2022? Buying bonds in Switzerland was considered a safe investment. Swiss government bonds are the safest bonds you can invest in. Swiss government bonds yields are very low but safe. Investing in corporate bonds is much more lucrative but there are more risks involved. Bonds are debt obligations. You loan an amount of money to a company or government and you will receive the same amount back after a certain time, including a yield. The difference is that you can buy and sell bonds on financial markets at any time. Because of the low interest rates, investing in bonds is not attractive. As the interest rates are increasing simultaneously with growing inflation, bonds will become more attractive again, maybe. However, I would not invest in bonds in these uncertain times of war in Ukraine and inflation. I would wait until we have a clearer picture of inflation. How to buy ETF in Switzerland? ETFs are exchange traded funds. ETFs are very popular. Are you looking for the best ETF in Swiss francs as an investment in Switzerland? What is an ETF in stocks? An exchange traded fund is a pooled investment that operates like a mutual fund. ETFs in stocks are an exact copy of an index like the S&P 500. In Switzerland, you can buy ETFs as a foreigner. We fight for your money. There are no restrictions for foreigners. ETFs have a high level of diversification. You own a share of a fund owning the stocks. As they are passively managed, ETFs are less expensive than traditional funds. Sometimes ETFs can be sophisticated investment with complex risks difficult to assess. When investing in ETFs, be aware that sustainable ETFs are often less sustainable than they claim to be. Instead of Making your own decision, instruct your external asset manager to invest according to your needs and expectations. It's much easier. It is smart to invest your money in real estate right now. As a non-resident, you are not allowed to buy your own home. You can invest in commercial property only in Switzerland. Switzerland is a small country. Therefore, there are restrictions concerning real estate. The returns from real estate investment in Switzerland are modest. Smart investors are very selective about the location of the property. If you choose to invest in central locations, you will realize substantial capital gain. Choosing the right location is of paramount importance. Here is the thing. Attractive investments are accessible only off-market. Do not buy real estate using the internet. The property may have a problem. Step back from the internet. As a foreign investor, you absolutely need professional advice from a local matador. 
having access to off-market properties only. The pricing for real estate is stable. Real estate investments are illiquid. If you need money, you are forced to sell your property. You must find a suitable buyer. This will take months or even years. Buying real estate in Switzerland is expensive. Due to my big network, I always have unique off-market investment opportunities. How to invest in cryptocurrencies? Are cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Tether, USD coin, Terra, XRP a hype that you should avoid? Or is this a must-have investment for the future? Some investors became millionaires very quickly by investing in cryptocurrency. Many owners have lost everything. If you invest your money in cryptocurrency, you must be very careful. Because of the low level of regulation, there are many scam artists and other criminals doing scams. In my view, investing your money in cryptocurrencies must be done with the Swiss crypto bank. Or it is equal to Wild West banking. I know the best crypto banks to convert big amounts of crypto into real money. Call me if you have at least 1 million in crypto to turn into cash using Swiss banks. You can contaminate your clean money with dirty money using low-level platforms. Don't do that. Remember, governments can declare cryptocurrency investments illegal overnight. Cryptocurrencies are actually misused to circumvent sanctions against Russia. Decentralized payment systems are interesting alternative to traditional payment common in banking. Like gold and silver, cryptocurrencies are not generating returns. It is pure speculation on capital gains. Due to the tremendous volatility, you can generate substantial capital gains instantly. How about investing your money in your bank savings account? Many people are convinced that keeping money in a bank savings account has nothing to do with investing. That's not true. Let me give you an example. When the euro was launched in January 1999, one euro quoted one Swiss francs and 61 cents. Today we have parity. One euro is quoting one Swiss francs. Just by investing your capital in Swiss francs instead of euros in your bank savings account and leaving it without investing in stocks, the capital gain is 61%. Since many people are just keeping their life savings in their savings bank account, my advice is to invest in Swiss francs, the best safe haven currency except gold. If you keep substantial amounts in Swiss francs, there are negative interest rates. Without investing, you end up losing wealth. The purchasing power will diminish. A good independent asset manager will make sure to protect the purchasing power of your money. So, what is the best way to invest your money as a foreigner in Switzerland. As a foreigner, you are not familiar with Swiss banking. Most customers do not know to tell if a bank is safe or not. They have no idea how to judge the safety of a bank. Foreigners know UBS and Credit Suisse. That's it. There are 286 Swiss banks and 2,500 external asset managers in Switzerland. The best Swiss bank account for foreigners must be open with one of the safest Swiss banks. We at Caputum Partners know how to measure the safety of a bank. We are focused on the safest Swiss banks only. Our safest Swiss private banks do not have leveraged balance sheet. Only the strongest capitalized banks with a tier 1 capital ratio exceeding 20% are good enough for our clients. UBS and Credit Suisse have a tier 1 capital ratio far below 20% far below. For our clients, we suggest Swiss banks not be involved in derivatives, not in investment banking, not in risky lending activities, not issuing letter of credit, no bank guarantees, no trade finance, etc. We prefer Swiss private banks with the core business of wealth management and having no physical presence outside Switzerland. We do not consider Swiss banks outsourcing the data processing with client information to cheap labor force countries outside Switzerland. Only a few people know that, for example, UPS and Credit Suisse are outsourcing sensitive information outside Switzerland. It's incredible. Avoid using offshore companies as the account holder. The Swiss bank account must be open directly in your name. You should have direct control over the assets, not the nominee director of your offshore company. We fight for your money. 
We propose Swiss private banks tailor-made to your needs and expectations. Normally we propose you three to five very strong capitalized Swiss private banks. Our Swiss banks are not using call centers for managing their clients. You will make the final choice. What is the minimum balance to open a Swiss bank account? A diversified portfolio with a multi-currency account is imperative. The minimum balance should be 500,000 Swiss francs to ensure sufficient diversification. Spreading your direct investments across countries, sectors and industry is imperative. To achieve a suitable diversification with direct investments, you need a minimum capital of 500,000 Swiss francs. Why are family offices managing the money of super wealthy families engaging external asset managers and not banks? The answer is very simple. External asset managers are delivering much better results than banks. We tested the performance of the last 10 years of 115 real existing portfolios. We discovered that external asset managers, also known as independent asset managers, are performing four times better than asset managers employed by the Swiss private banks. Of the best outperforming portfolios, only 20% were managed by banks, while 80% were managed by independent asset managers. Our best-in-class asset manager generated results between 8 and 12% return per year on average for the last 13 years. If you are interested in knowing the exact figures, please read our article Independent Financial Advisor in Switzerland. What we have discovered will shock you. The external asset managers have limited power of attorney on your account. They are allowed to manage your wealth, but they are not allowed to take money away. The asset management agreement with the asset manager can be cancelled any time. Let me find the best Swiss private bank and asset manager that gets results for you. Call me using this number. Insider information just like this cannot be found in universities, in libraries and not in the internet. If you like information just like this, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel now and ring the bell. Click the subscribe button and ring the bell. By doing so, you will never miss a new video. If you need a Swiss bank account, with the safest Swiss bank, call us now. Your account will be operative within a week or 10 days maximum. I will introduce you to the best Swiss bank for foreigners and the best in class asset manager who will grow your portfolio step by step. We never lost a client. Our clients are happy because they made money with us step by step, year by year. If you have a very confidential question you want to discuss with me, Grab your mobile phone now and dial 0041442124404. It's never too early to protect and diversify your asset, transferring a big part of your assets to Switzerland. Bring your money out of your country before your country will take the money out of you. Be rich and stay rich. Have a wonderful day.